Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading <laughs> for um, the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpions. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Sorry for this way of reading, but um, my camera, the battery goes in and out. So that's the reason why. I want to say thank you um, for being here. Thank you for the positive energy vibration reading. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for the love um, that is coming in. I want to say thank you for the positive um, situation that is coming in. So for you Pisces, let's see what is happening for you Pisces um, in the month of June. Please like, share these videos. They are free. So like and share them. Okay, so I'm seeing a long distance issue that is coming up for you Pisces. So some of you Pisces could be dealing with a long distance relationship. I'm seeing a uh, long distance, but there's passion. And it's an open relationship and it's your soulmate. So, so um, then we have, this is a spiritual road. Um, it is a marriage. Um, for you guys, you want an open relationship with fun times, but um, you really love, truly, truly love this, love the person, okay? So we're having karmatic cycles with a beautiful woman. So some of you are so passionate with this woman. You want this relationship to be a union. I'm seeing um, trouble coming in with past life. So some of you could be going on vacation to visit um, someone um, in your um, past life. So I'm seeing a lot of friendships and uh, um, the last energy. I can't believe it, it's a twin flame. So you Pisces are the first one in the month of June to have the soulmate and a twin flame energy okay that's the first one to have the soulmate and twin flame energy i think that some of you have learned to deal with um um some of you have learned to deal with control issues and this is going to be good so it could be a situation where some of you are dealing to uh, are wishing to deal with control issues or are going to be dealing with control issues in this month okay so let's check out what is happening so, um, there are control issues, whatever the situation is, there are definitely control issues that is coming up. So, call upon the angels and guide um, um, and the universal angels to come in to release all of your energy. So, a lot of you, whatever control issue is, you're going to be having that on the control, okay? So, definitely there is a new start that is coming up. Um, and you are going to be moving forward. Help is definitely coming in, and you are having a strong foundation over um, a conflict that has been transpired with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, so you Pisces, you had some control issues to deal with, and this is for you guys that are, were married to. A Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, who no, that was married to uh, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. There is um, definitely some control issues. You, it was as if you were under control, and what is transpiring is that um, this person definitely you're removing these control issues from this person, and what is happening is that um you're definitely definitely um going to and you know it's like today i had two meetings and the meetings were cancelled and it was like yeah because something else had to happen before this can happen and this is good because whenever you know some people are always like damn why and it is just that some things need to fall in place before okay so whatever the control issues is whatever that was transpiring you are going to be ending this conflicts with someone who are being very controlling it doesn't have to be um 
an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you could be also having this issue with um, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or some of you could be having conflicts with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius who was very controlling, okay? Because Pisces are not really that controlling. Some, but not really that controlling. I'm seeing a new start because um, you're definitely dealing and healing control issues, and um, I'm seeing that you guys have a strong foundation and the eighth of swords is that now you're seeing a situation and you're definitely walking away from the situation because there was just some lies and deception and that sort of a thing and you're walking away because um, of the lies and deception someone was trying to control your life okay so because of lies and deception um, someone was trying to control your life but it's as if you're breaking free some of you are in a long distance relationship. This is um, this is a union and um, travel, and um, definitely you're going to be traveling to see your twin flame. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of you Pisces. Um, it could be um, a, a union, a long distance union, a long distance relationship, and you're traveling to see this person. The energy of the twin flame is here so the twin flames are traveling to see um their um other half and i, I think i really want to get married and that is so beautiful um okay so we see um the soulmates are connecting they're having fun they're connecting with the beautiful especially the beautiful ladies and you're connecting with your soulmate and you decide that you want to have a family so this is also um, very beautiful so the swaying of family especially for the beautiful ladies you definitely want to have fun and you're connecting with your soulmate but you want to have family some families could be um, a part of your issue that is happening here also but I'm seeing definitely some people that have long distance union or relationship is definitely, definitely going to be um, getting married. I'm seeing people who are having really these hot, passionate relationship wants to also get married. So the center is that there is definitely uh, married people are going to be having fun reconnecting because it could be that you guys are going on vacation. Some of you married people could be meeting a young, beautiful woman and could end up in this passionate relationship. So. Um, the situations for here. I'm seeing people with long distance relationship is a spiritual growth. It's a spiritual union and it's full of hot passion. It's definitely a spiritual union and it's full of passion. There is definitely a family karmatic situation that is transpiring with the mature woman and the younger woman. So let's say um, you you realize that your husband is in um, a relationship with a young beautiful woman it is a karmatic issue that you're playing out with this lady and I'm seeing um, friendship is being bonds of friendship is being created with a soul mate okay this is like one of the most beautiful so you're not only a soul mate but you're um, you're desecrating the bond between you and your soulmate, okay? And this is just so positive. So I'm seeing traveling and people bonding in friendship on vacation, and um, you're meeting people from a twin, you're meeting your twin flame, and you're meeting your past life relationship. So this is what I was saying to some of you is that some people can um, have an. Um, you know vibrate with their soulmates and their twin flame and it's um, like most of the people who does that when it's normal and natural not with the people who sleep around with everyone there is a difference okay but um, the people who um, does this is the people who definitely because um, here you're seeing all of these situations fun times twin flame and soulmate so people who carry the energy vibration of third three six do have the twin flame and soulmate relationship okay 
So people who have the energy of 33-6 so do have the twin flame and soulmate relationship. So let's check out what is going on with the long distance relationship, passion, and union. Some of you are going to be traveling a long distance. Some of you are going to be finding out some lies and deception about your long distance relationship, okay? <coughs> So if you if you are married and in a long distance relationship, some of you are if you are married, you're going to be finding out about some lies about um, your partner in the marriage. Okay, karma, family, mature women and young women. Okay, who is this going to affect? I see the energy. I see the energy of. Uh, um, some of you older women are going to be finding out that there is a younger woman who is in your relationship and I think you're going to be really communicating with her connecting with her and communicating with her and explaining that there is karma and that is good what you're going to do because you're just gonna tell her you know it's karma you know you do this to me someone else is going to do this to you spiritual growth karma and um, marriage with a beautiful woman some of you are ending your marriage with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra that marriage is over the marriage has been over for a long time it was a spiritual union to bring kids into this world but not to stay together it's not your twin thing and it's not your soulmate okay it was a with it, it was only to bring in um, kids into the squirrel. It was not your soulmate, and it was not your twin flame, and it was not um, your true love. Okay, so let it go. Marriage is over. It wasn't meant to be. Uh, only to bring in kids. Okay. So there is a lot of passion that is going on. A lot of passion, fun times, so open relationship that is happening and some of you are returning to a Taurus Virgo a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn alright so you Pisces are having some hot passionate sex with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I think that some of you are leaving the Aquarian Gemini or Libra to connect to the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn it's going to be an open relationship for some of you. Some of you are, are going to end up marrying to this person, but some of you are having some real hot, passionate sex and fun times with this person, okay? Let's see. Some of you beautiful women are going to be traveling, having some fun time, but you're going to be marrying the same person, okay? Or hoping, because there is some sadness. You beautiful women, have some sadness and the sadness is that it, there is sadness about traveling whatever the situation is there is definitely sadness about traveling some of you um, are definitely having some sadness about traveling mature women relationship what is happening there is some deception that has taken place okay there is some deception that has taken place so, okay, I gotta find this. <laughs> so I'm seeing deception. I'm seeing sadness in travel. Um, beautiful woman, sadness in travel. What is this all about? Invitation comes to an end. Um, darkness for a man. Power struggle end to the power struggle and conflicts okay so um okay i gotta find out i'm I, i'm always like this okay so um i'm seeing some um sadness um that is happening with an invitation for a man and the end okay so what I'm seeing transpiring is that conflicts, a friend, and a letter. 
Um, some of you men, there comes an end to a friendship. There is conflicts and an invitation is now blocked and you're going to be receiving a message about this. Okay? Um, there is something about your emotion and people in power. So people in power try to end something. A relationship, you know, they block your relationship. It's as if some of you were supposed to go on vacation and you're going to be receiving a message that your relation, that you can't go, you know, because some travel situation, some of you want to travel to, um, to visit your soulmate. I want to see this because, okay, travel, friendship, soulmate, past life. What is this all about? Let me see. What is this all about? There is sadness, heartbreaks. Some of you men want to travel and visit someone, but there are Heartbreaks, there's sadness, there's like turning your backs, there's like worries, confusion. It's like you guys are blocked. There is there is, there is, and, uh, okay, heartbreaks with a um, twin flame, heartbreaks with a twin flame, heartbreaks with a twin flame, oh, heartbreaks with a twin flame for the Pisces, what is the same? Some of you, Okay. Heartbreaks, okay? Some of you have some heartbreaks with a, twi with a twin flame, a twin flame, someone who you have a, um, a relationship with, a strong friendship and a strong friendship bond that you were trying to either go travel and visit the person the energy with the star is saying there could be some there could be some health issues that comes up it doesn't have to be your health issue but it could be the other person health issue that comes up there could be um some health issues or something that comes up but there is definitely excitement but luck is going to be on your side okay luck is going to be on your side definitely luck is going to be on your side especially you women luck is going to be on your side whatever the situation is and whatever that I explain how luck is going to be on your side so wonderful 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 okay so the women are going to be lucky the men not so lucky because there could be some of the sadness and issues and situation because we have here like the de deterioration of your health like your health is deteriorating or a health of someone is deteriorating why you can't go on that trip so it could be your health that is deteriorating or the health of someone um, that needs to go on this trip because I'm seeing um, I, I'm seeing that you need to sleep okay so um, peace comes to a situation for some of you and a resolution comes with your marriage. There is um, positive 
um, you know, people are speaking very positive over you and the connection here is definitely changes that is coming in, okay? So let's see what is happening, long distance relationship. Some of you are really holding your heart to this long distance relationship where it's as if, you know, I, I'm, I'm letting it go. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, spiritual growth, this relationship was based on spiritual growth. Whatever the situation is, you two were connected um, spiritual, uh, spiritual, okay? Family issues, family situation, we have um, the page of swords that is dealing with some family issues. This long distance, passionate relationship, some people want to have open relationships. You are going to be um, very lucky. Um, truths and secrets are coming out. The energy of the sun, positive energies are coming out and the truth is coming out. Whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring, especially with twin flame soul flame relationship, this is going to be so positive, okay? I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be connecting with your soul soulmate relationship and twin flame relationship. I'm seeing love that is coming in. There is the energy of conflicts that is coming in. I'm seeing also the seven people working together. So people from past life, um, definitely a lot of you are going to be traveling. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of you traveling. But this is art great. I want to know what is the situation with this, with this um, twin thing and this heartache. What is this all about? Oh, you're going to be victorious over this. Ah, ha, ha. You're still going to go on the trip on the journey. Oh my God, I was worried. So let's look at your wishes and dream over a long distance situation. The truth is definitely going to be coming out, okay? And there is definitely going to be a balance. So if you're in a long distance relationship and someone constantly lies to you, the truth is going to be coming out. Now I'm seeing some of you definitely planning because you are planning because you want to definitely move on the right direction, on the right part. And there is going to be some spiritual growth and some karmatic situation especially if uh, you are married there's going to be uh, if you're ma in <laughs> if you're married um, there is going to be some new connection spiritual growth that is going to be helping you um, to balance out your marriage okay alrighty so that is wonderful that is good I've seen issues with family I'm seeing someone trying to figure out something about your family asking a lot of question and it could be that it has to do with a pisces cancer or a scorpion and do not answer these questions okay some of you could be finding out <laughs> some of you could be um getting married I, i'm really seeing some of you with an aquarius gemini's and libras and again you could have been in this relationship only because you are supposed to connect in a spiritual level where you have kids with this person and that's it but water signs do not and should not go with air sign because water and rain is storm thunder everything that dramatic can happen okay that was just a relationship to bring children in okay if you notice you can you have relationship to bring kids in you have the act passionate relationships and that sort of thing let's see with the hot passionate relationship what is happening so some of you that was having sex is now going to have some sex this month and this is going to be good okay it's going to be better than not having anything okay um past life issues i'm seeing um people This is definitely what happened. Okay, so um, the Empress. Some of you are definitely going to be connecting with a Taurus. Okay? No, yeah, Taurus, but it's a Taurus Pisces of a Capricorn. Okay? Um, it's a Capricorn. Uh, who 
Whoever the spirits are against, they are your true love. They are from a past life and they also um, came as a soulmate in a past life. Okay, this Empress is someone who is um, a Capricorn. She's very beautiful. She has so much. I'm seeing a lot of you going to be receiving an invitation to a party and it's like you're going to be partying until 1999 okay i'm seeing the energy of twin flames and soulmates coming up you have a strong foundation this is what you were meant to dream so how you guys are going to be and i'm seeing dark skin guys and like chocolate brown and i'm seeing you reconnecting with soulmates okay I'm seeing some of you who are in open relationship that you're trying to protect yourself. This is if, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is what I want. And you're really trying to protect yourself, so be aware. I'm seeing a third party. Some of you could find out about a third party, but this is all over. Okay, so you could have found out that. Okay, you are in an open relationship, but then your partner started seeing someone else, but they, they hand it because they didn't want to. That sort of the situation that's coming up, and that is so good. Then there is something about some of you at the end of the month. It could be at the end of the month for some of you. Some of you doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing some sadness. I really want to know what the sadness is. You're going to be over the sadness, but I'm seeing this has something to do with a trip. Is it that you, yeah, because you have to return. So I'm seeing you turn it in. You're sad because you're going on a trip and you have to return. It's as if you spend the whole month with your soulmate or twin flame and now you got to go. And now you are like, God, I wish if I didn't, okay? Um some of you women are going to be um, divorcing your husband because you find out of a um, yeah you're definitely going to be some of you women are going to divorce your husband because you're going to be finding out that your husband has been seeing someone else okay so you're definitely going to be divorcing your husband I'm seeing family issues with the mature ladies it's definitely um, Bam, you ladies. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so, I told my cousin that she was going to meet someone new. I did. So, you um, young people, so you men, between the ages of, the, um, you men between the ages of 18 and 45 is definitely, definitely going to be meet him with someone new okay so um there it is i'm saying listen to your intuition about an aquarius gemini or libra this woman has done you some deceptive thing this new woman knew who were your twin flame and soulmate and she tries to mess your life up so be aware of this because this is if this woman know that she was not the love of your life she was only married to you but the love of your life you have met that person she knew when who this person was and she blocked it okay don't trust this person that she's your um okay this is the energy of the knight of pentacles uh and this is the young um this is the young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, that is coming in um, to connect. So you young people between the ages of 18 and 45, you're gonna be connecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. This is a new love that is coming in and you both are going to be working together on your relationship. Um, this person is really a twin thing or a soulmate that is coming in for you. So if you're in, between the ages of 18 and 45, definitely, this person is coming in for you. I'm seeing some of you protecting yourself from um, these burdens, some issues that you have to deal with. There is just sadness about leaving and then traveling, okay? 
okay? Um, some of you, definitely, who are um, financial stable, I'm saying you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant. Um, yes, and there is going to be conflicts about this pregnancy. So I think that this is the reason why your twin flame or soulmate could be upset because they found out that you are pregnant, okay? Now there is sadness, the set down, heartbreaks, and you're going to be thinking how to deal with this situation. Oh damn. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a Virgo and you are going to be receiving some hot sex, but don't believe a word this Virgo says because this Virgo is planning for you. Okay, some of you young people are going to be getting married. So some of you young people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be getting married. Um, remarried, could be. But you're with a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, and you're not trusting this person, you are right, do not trust this person, okay? Uh, there is a transition that is coming up. There was some conflict, some of you were trusting a Pisces, um, a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but a transition is coming up. Something is going to happen that, um, that is going to make you um, change about the way you feel. Okay, some of you are going to be partying like you have a party before. There's news coming in. There is going to be some regrets. Whatever these regrets is, we're going to be taking a look. Five of Cups regrets. Of this turning your back. Some of you are turning your backs on a marriage that has to do with, and um, some of you are definitely turning your backs on an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, a union, a marriage, and you're, you want to move forward with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn because this no longer serves you and this person that you're moving towards is more prominent. This person is more classy, more prominent, um, that sort of thing. And I guess, you know, why you left this person is because of what they did. They ruined your life with this empress. Now I'm seeing the situation that some of you, definitely another story where um, just some of you are dealing with an, um, uh, some of you are dealing with an um, Aries Leo or a Sagittarian, okay? No. Yeah. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. King of Cups, you turn up. King of Cups. Um, is dealing with the Empress. There are conflicts with you and this Empress. There are some sadness for the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is going to decide to walk away. This is his, um, his soulmate. But he's going to decide to, to, to leave this relationship. It is his soulmate. There's no question. That's why there is just so much sadness. Because he doesn't want to end the relationship with his soulmate. He's, but he's gonna find out, it's as if he found out that she was pregnant and um, he's gonna turn his back on, on her and move forward. And you know, Seriously, I just don't understand that. Why would you want to turn your back on someone if they're pregnant? Um, you know, it could be a situation where this woman, you couldn't get her pregnant and she got pregnant. And so why are you pissed off? Okay, you don't want to have a child. Okay, but you could have had this woman on string for years and she gets pregnant. So what's the big shit about? Okay. I just don't understand you Pisces sometimes because you know you play the game and you play the road and this this woman is pregnant and you know if you were such a good friend as you said you were whatever the situation is you would have support this woman okay so <laughs> bam I'm speaking out what I think so because I'm seeing 
all this drama you guys are creating and God knows that some Pisces can create such a drama that sometimes I wonder hello it's like the, the, the king of drama you're even better than gay people you know creating drama and the truth is gonna come out because I think some of you be honest to yourself because some of you were in relationship with this person you have been keeping this person on a string on a string and now what has happened and what has transpired is that you know this person thing you know what the f you have been keeping me on the string and i've been trying to move forward my my entire life you don't mean anything good to me because you have been just keeping me on a string to make sure that i'm there you're creating all this drama but i am having this beautiful energy and this beautiful life and this beautiful um you know baby that is that i'm that i'm that i'm having you know that sort of a thing not me three people too old for that <laughs> so whoever you are dealing with you're not being really honest with yourself and with this other person because it's as if you left this person waiting on you and whatever happened okay because if you're not in a relationship with this person you don't tell this person where the relationship is going why are you going to create an all of this drama because this person um, could be pregnant they're not sure it could be that this person is pregnant you know and you know you need to be honest you Pisces you Pisces men really needs to be honest okay so Pisces men I'm looking at you now you really need to be honest okay you were dealing with a beautiful woman okay and you did not you weren't completely honest with this person. You think that she was your twin flame or soulmate. Did you show her that? No, she didn't know. So whatever has happened and whatever has transpired, you are creating this whole drama that this this lady has done this and this and done that. And you, you're pissed off. You're leaving. You're going away because you're pissed off. Whatever the situation is, there are some travel problems that is coming up for some of you, but it will be resolved. Whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, it will be resolved. Okay, this issue will be resolved. There is um, some infidelity in relationships. Some of you young people are going to be deciding to get married. Don't do it. Nope. Some of you young people someone is pushing you to get married to an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Some of you are going to just tell someone how you feel about them and how you felt so trapped in your marriage. If you are going to be connecting, some of you have this, um, you know, it could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn friend, yes. And you're going to be saying, oh my God, I know exactly what you mean. I felt so bloody trapped. I'm divorced now. I'm happy because I was so trapped. I was so trapped in my marriage. Oh my God. You know, you're going to be like, I'm so happy I'm out. So this is, this is, this is really, really going to be good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing some um, wonderful situation that is happening here. Um, these are positive energies that is coming in. I'm seeing some luck. Um, some of you are definitely going to be having luck with Twin Flame and Soulmate, definitely. So, um, some of you, um, you're, you were going through some stressful situation and it has to do with health. So, uh, of the health of your partner okay so i want to say thank you um for returning thank you for your positive energy vibration and for returning and i want to um i love you guys oh and by the way because i know you're watching <laughs> um that's for my cousin new love is coming in i told you but the old one is not going anywhere 
He ain't giving up, girlfriend. So yeah, he ain't giving up, but you let us definitely come in. Okay. All right. I gotta go, guys. Namaste.